Here's a look at some of our favorite moments from this year on The Issue Is. Coming up, an Issue Is exclusive. Governor Newsom comes to the White House. How you feeling? Yesterday? We did. Governor Gavin Newsom enters the White House amidst a flurry of national stories speculating whether he wants to run for the White House. I've tried to say no, no way, in every way I possibly can. Where the hell is my party? Where the hell is the National Democratic Party in terms of action on that? What is going on in the Democratic Party nationwide? I cannot answer that question. I'm Alex Michelson. This week, the issue is overturning Roe v. Wade. What is your message? to the young woman in another state who is really scared right now. Yeah, come to California. Conservatives' beliefs are apparently so goddamn fragile that the mere existence of people who are different from them is somehow a threat to you. I, I don't think any of those platitudes mean much of anything. We just don't want babies to be killed in the womb. You uh, think short, that 10-year-old should have been forced to take that pregnancy to term? I do. These are flags of the different countries that are represented here at the Summit of the Americas. Which is about investing in these countries that are our neighbors as the United States. The event also putting a global spotlight on California Governor Gavin Newsom. He hosts heads of state like Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Aesthetically, you look like you could be brothers or at least cousins. Uh, <laughs> I'm also, the younger brother, right? Yeah, he's the, uh, he, he reminded me he's the younger brother. Second gentleman, Doug Emhoff, appeared at this event. We were on hand as he supported the Sova Food Pantry in Van Nuys. It's so good to be home. And I mean home. Uh, I went to CSUN right around the corner, Agora High, uh, and then USC. I don't know if you know this, but I went to Agora High, and I also went to USC, uh, and I'm also a fellow <laughs> Jew from Brentwood. So, so I mean, we should be hanging all the time. There we go. Doug Emhoff speaks to an artificial intelligence version of a real-life man, Pincus Gutter, who survived six German concentration camps during World War II. It's not just a, a Jewish issue. It's an issue for all of us. Hate rears its ugly head all over the world. Since we last talked, um, you went to Auschwitz. Um, and visited that for the first time. I went there as a son of a Nazi officer. Now this guy is a Jew, I am the, the son of a Nazi officer, and now we are celebrating there together. Pete Buttigieg got his first ever in-person look at the ports of LA and Long Beach and took us along for the boat ride. What do you say to people that say they're, they're angry that the prices are so high? Well, yeah, a lot of the pressure on prices is coming from these shipping delays. Rub it in there. There we go. U.S. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm plugs in to charge an all-electric big rig. Do you think what California is doing could or should be a national model? Could be, could be. Schiff says now he wants to write even more. I've always enjoyed writing. Uh, years ago, I wrote a number of screenplays. I'm a lawyer in L.A. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Just the mayor. It was Mayor Eric Garcetti's idea to take us for a ride. But it doesn't take long for us to drive past homeless people living in tents. I won't take blame for homelessness. That is way beyond Eric Garcetti, and I'm very proud of the work that I've done as a council member and as mayor. So if you don't deserve blame as the mayor, who does deserve blame for this problem? I do as an Angelino, doing the same way that we all do. The filing deadline has passed, and the field is now set in the open race to lead the largest city in California. Rick Caruso, welcome yeah. to the mayor's race. Thank you. Why do you want to do this? I am coming back because of the crisis that our city is facing. You need to have a chief executive with that kind of skill set at the top. I do have experience governing. He has experience running a corporation. Hi, Snoop. I'm Alex from Fox 11. Nice to see you. What's up, Alex? How you doing? Are you officially endorsing Rick Caruso? And if so, why? Mayor's got to be about it. You can't be about talking about it. You got to be about it. Welcome to the Los Angeles mayoral debate. Congresswoman, do you feel safe? walking in. London. I do feel safe. I would say a 10. A break in at the home of LA's mayoral front runner. I did feel safe until my safety was shattered like so many Angelinos. This is Jesus. Rick Caruso is introducing his kids to a family whose education he helped sponsor. The biggest problem is that Tina and I are both crybabies so. <laughs> it's emotional for you to, to see those kids. The Caruso family remarkably close. What's Rick Caruso the dad like? He's so fun. <laughs> the love between Bass and her family is also clear. Well, who is Karen Bass, the mom? 
<laughs> she's my mentor. She's my confidant. Um, I'm getting a little emotional. <laughs> what does it mean for you to have the vice president here with you of all days on election day? I told her it means the world to <laughs> me to be here. Madam Mayor. <laughs> Mayor Karen Bass. Yes. The first time I've gotten to say that. <laughs> I'm Alex Michelson, and this week the issue is the Super Bowl. You say the Rams can't let somebody come into their house and take the Super Bowl. You can't do it. You just can't do it. It's like letting a man come in your house, sit at your table, eat your damn food <laughs> while he's holding your wife's hand and drinking your wine. Matt is an online sensation known for his more than 250 impressions. Gavin Newsom, governor. Yes, well, I believe that it was so great. Let me just show some chest. The iconic actress Jennifer Coolidge is with us. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh yeah! Wow, that that Ooh. was that was a moment. Look um, at that. Finally! Oh God! <laughs> this is it. 2022. Lee, <laughs> <Lead, laughs> follow. Lee, follow. Or get, get out of the way. Out of the way. <laughs> you can listen to all of those interviews in their entirety in podcast form right now. Just search for the issue is wherever you stream. We'll wrap things up for the year when we come back. <laughs> you can get it streaming if you want to subscribe to Alex Page. He can make a little extra cash out of it. Really, do it. <laughs>